Are Pokemon and video game scalpers disappearing? Let's talk about that, ladies and gentlemen. What is up, people? Dobbs Wolves is right here, and welcome to a little bit of a talk show today. Now, here's a question that a lot of people have been talking about all over Twitter, Facebook, and also Instagram, and all the other social medias well known to man. Scalpers. We've talked about these for many, many months now. From Pokemon to video games to everything else. And including as well the PlayStation 5. But the main one is, are video game and Pokemon card scalpers disappearing? Now this is one thing i like to talk to you guys about around about in the United Kingdom. I don't know if it's different to you, to you people in America and also people from down to the Middle East of Asia. But in the UK, the scalpers have actually started disappearing and for some weird reason, us people who want to play Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon and also buy video games for rare game, you know, for collector's editions, we've been able to have, we've been able to. I got lucky and actually able to get myself some Brilliant Star or some booster boxes and so for freaking sake, three copies of Restaurant and Charizard GX to open one open two up for the channel and keep one sealed. I was able to pick up some more Shining Fates for you guys and some more celebrations. I've been able to get everything. This is a miracle people, I've been waiting for this to happen and all of a sudden it happens. Now like I said this might be different to you people in America because you guys are uh, insane in the membrane. I'm not being rude to you guys but you guys are crazy when it comes to collecting. But for us lot in Britain there's not a lot of massive collectors, well there is but they're not as insane and crazy. Now, let's move on to the video game stuff. Now, video game scalping has been acting weird recently because at the moment you can buy the standard visual version copies. Understandable because you get a lot of copies of them. However, when you want to, want to pre-order a game and you want the collector's edition, it's instantly sold out. I've had this situation for quite a few months now from a shop called Game, it's our normal distributor for video games. It's like uh, it's like the UK version of GameStop or Game Exchange, you know, the game shops and everything. Because I recently wanted to pre-order the full-on, full version collector's edition of Among Us. Now I know what are people are thinking, Dotty Rules, you actually talking about Among Us. You hate Among Us, don't you? I'm starting to warm back up to it. I'm starting to enjoy it more now. Now, however, I knew it was day one it got announced to be to be pre-ordered. So I went to game on the day, I would like to pre-order it. Yeah, sure thing. Click, 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 click. They sold out. I was thinking, how on earth can you sell out in literally less than 40 minutes? Because it only takes me 40 minutes from getting to my house to the shop so I can order it. Because they weren't going to order it online because they weren't doing it. They were doing it in the shop. So somehow, someway, all over the UK, somebody just literally did it in literally in a few seconds flat and ordered them all. Now, I figured that out because I literally went on eBay literally a few minutes later and saw at least four of them announcing it on eBay and they were selling them for three times the price. But nobody weren't budging it, nobody weren't bidding on them, so they were stuck with them. But luckily for me, I got the one that was lower version of that one which was only missing like a t-shirt and a lanyard. Not really bothered, as long as I get the plush, I'm happy. But when it comes to other games, now this is the thing that makes me laugh. I'm a person who likes buying cheap games, you guys know that. But the scalpers don't do that for some weird reason. They merely do that in car boots, go everything, take everything and all that lot. I've already talked to you guys about the car boots, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. But for me, I go to shops, game shops. I look through the shelves and I look through them thoroughly, really thoroughly. And when they've got random games put on offer, and it's not like like two pound off, three pound off. I'm talking about ninety percent off, and they're on about PS4 games and including PS5 games. And I've been picking them up nearly every single day. And I think in a matter of literally in one week, I picked around about maybe sixty to seventy games, and I mainly only paid for around about maybe a hundred, hundred and twenty quid for the whole for the whole lot. So yeah, I was paying like £1, £2, £3 per game. PS5 was a little bit more, that one about like the 15 to the £20 range. But for, for PS4 games, I was getting like them for like £1, £2, £3, £4. That's all I was getting them for. And then I go ahead 
back home, just quickly minding my own business, researching them to see how much they actually were going for, and they were still going for stupid money. So I thought to myself, why are they doing this in these soup in these game shops? And it turns out because they've only got one copy of it, they just want to get rid of it. And it's the same thing in supermarkets. I go to supermarkets all the time, as you guys know, for groceries and all that lot. But Tesco's, Asda, Sainsbury's, these are our UK shops. They have, of course, they have the games that are nicely priced and they also have the yellow markers that tell you that they're being reduced. But there's also the special ones that are reduced for clearance when they are one freaking pound! And I picked up, um, I picked up H Hades on the PS4. I picked up Star Wars Squadron on the PS4, um, Outsiders or Outlanders, if I recall, on the PS5, and Meat. Um, what was it? Um, the Meat Shark, the Shark game on the Xbox One. And I picked that up, and they were all a pound. What? A pound? This was in a supermarket. I was shot, and there was nobody going after them. So I thought, screw it. I'll have them. I'll take them. I bought them. I played them. They're ace. And that's why part of me thinks to myself that scalpers are only going after the ones they think are going to be expensive, meaning the collector's editions. They're not going after physical standard versions. They're only going after the, phys the collectors that they think is going to be worth a lot of money. And like I said, some, collector, some collectors, you know, collector editions, are not worth fuck all. Let's talk about Rage 2. It came out £80 for the um, collector's edition. Nobody bought it. Game was trying to sell it for 20 quid and they still couldn't sell it. Luckily for me, I got it for a fiver when they wanted to get rid of it dramatically. So I got an awful looking head as a freaking monumental piece in my games room which looks freaking awful. So I mainly covered that up with my Dead Island um, figurine because it looks absolutely disgusting. So yeah. In the UK, scalpers are actually starting to disappear and they're starting to move on to something else, meaning, uh, let's think about the PlayStation 5 console, still they're doing that still. But one thing that I've been figuring out though, what have they been scalping at the moment? And what I've figured out, it's been sneakers. Shoes. Why? I don't know for myself because I'm not a massive sneaker fan. I have to speak to one of my friends called Omar, he lives in Japan, he's a sneaker collector mainly Jordans and that's what's been going over there's been fights in Manchester for these special limited edition Jordans people have been having their heads busted right open with some sort of pipe this has been going on in news recently so yeah it's insane it's ridiculous but luckily though the scalpers have now fucked off from our own little profession for myself and for you gamers alike Hopefully it changes for you guys in America. Much love to you guys. Hopefully the scalpers fuck off for you. And the same thing for people in Asia. Japan, China, Korea, the Philippines, anywhere around the world. Hopefully the scalpers fuck off for you too. That's all I've got time for today, people. I think the scalpers are starting to disappear. And moving on to something else. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time for another talk. The people I'm going to you guys for subscribing. I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio!